Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, we are waxing the wildfire. Alright, we got the wax. This is the wax. This is the good wax. I wish this thing had smell-o-vision. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I know some of you are like, yes, we know the wax smells good. Yes, it does smell delicious. I wish I could eat it. It smells so good. Using my um, up and up Target exfoliating pads. I love using these things. I believe these just work so good. You can use whatever you want, but I like these. Take those apart. We're probably going to use four, maybe three, at least two. And so much this wax takes to it. And I just scrape my fingernails across it. Great. Love it. We're going to, let's start on this shooter lane. So I really like to over wax it because it hides a lot of that um, white crud. That um, it looks like mill wax almost soaked into it. But it like hides that and then soaks into the wood really nice. And it kind of like brings the, the wood color back. Kind of how I feel it should be. But I like putting a lot of wax on the shooter lane. You just feel it just it hides that it's like somebody waxed it and it gets like a white color to it but yeah it takes that away and it gives it more of a um, original pinball play field color to it I'll probably end up waxing that some more just just it's the wet waxing and waxing waxing is not going to help it you can wax that 10,000 times and it's not going to do anything. I'm trying just to get the wax in the bare wood part of it. That's what I'm trying to do. And I highly recommend having a flashlight available when you do this. Mine's over there. Um, because it kind of, I knew I was going to do that with my hand. It kind of allows you, to, when you go over to play field, I'll try to show you in a second. I don't know how this is going to pop up on the thing. But see how it dulls where I waxed? It's shiny. Now my light is dull here. I can see, actually see the swirls of my wax on there. And I can see where it stops. So let's get right here. Where you can see it, which would be between these two. If I wax this area, see how the wax it just, it just takes away that shine. Let's do it right there, right on the fire. There, I'll bring it up, and the wax, the light kind of disappears on it, or even right here. So you can see, actually see the wax there. So that's why I say have a flashlight when you do this. It just makes it a little more visible for you. After you get done waxing, you can see where you missed and where you got really good. So that's why I like to do that.
All right, I'm gonna go over with my flashlight now. See whatever I missed. And you notice on these areas, I just go like this because these are the anti-roll back lanes that have the, the rollover switches where you can't go backwards. And instead of trying to cut my hand open to try to um, clean it, I just kind of go over it one way. Now, like I said, um, the flashlight it's got a dimming effect on my end. It's not so bad on yours. But on my end, I can see all the wax where I applied it and where I didn't apply it. And so far, it looks like I got a good coat. Now, you can wax your pinball machine 20, 30 times. However, you're only really waxing it once. Now, if it's bare wood, you can get that wax to like soak in more by um, rubbing more on it. And like what I'm doing right here with this saucer and the ball arch. I'm just trying to kind of like scrub the wax into the bare wood there just to give it a little more protectant and then I will go more into the shooter lane because I really want that wax to soak into the bare wood of the shooter lane. Because that, that is bare wood so I want that to be protected as much as possible. You should be able to see, go from the beginning of this video. If you start it back at the beginning, you can actually see the good color change that that has got now. It's not white anymore, it's actually wood colored. I went over with my flashlight, I'm just going with my eyes now. I'm gonna go back to my flashlight. That's how I do it. And I'm gonna let this skim up for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. But um, right now you and I are gonna make a, a video for the customer. My favorite video that I always like to send to the customer, the owner of the machine. So we will do that video right now. Let me get that there. Get my hand. And, uh, okay. Video. Hey, yeah, I don't know what happened. I polished it and now it's got like all the weird Swirliness into the paint. You can see it all like right here. I don't know what happened. It's like This was super glossy Yesterday and now it's just You can see it now. It, it looks like the paints all messed up or something. I don't know what happened No, I'm messing with you. Um, this is this is wax. Yeah, I like doing this. I like sending these videos but yeah, it's that's all wax on there. I'm just letting it um, cure a little bit and then I'll be buffing it off. But yeah, I do this to just about everybody when I wax their machines. It gives them a little freak out like, oh my God, what happened? But yeah, just let you know I waxed it. You know what I mean? But um, all right, we're gonna stop the video and we'll be back. All right, we're back. And we're back. We are taking this wax off. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. It's even shinier. I did not send that video to the customer yet. Oh yeah, no, I love it. It's even shinier than it was before. This is always my least favorite area to do is around the edge and all of the switches. I hate it because it's so tedious and hard and um, if you don't do it good, you're gonna cut your fingers on these switches. I usually kind of like try to bunch it up so I can get that edge really good. But once you're done around these switches, it's cake work then. I just hate doing this area. It's got to be done though. Don't get me wrong, it's got to be done. But um, it's just a pain in the butt to do. I got to tap that down with something. Do I got a hammer for around here? A hammer for her. What's a hammer for her? No, you got me. What's a hammer for you said? Oh, well, it's not a nail. That's why we will put some wood glue on that. Uh, straighten, not straighten, strengthen it up. Add some strength to it so it's not so wobbly. And I don't want it popping out. Usually these are nails, not pins. I've never seen them as pins before. I guess I've never tore apart a stern before. But usually they're nails. So, yeah, it's going to look pretty. Alright, we get around that. We get around here. Wildfire 23R, 23R-4-106 it says up here. Rocks is coming off good. It's coming off a little hard, which I like. That means it's stuck good to the play field. And it's not smearing, which is good too. That means it dried good. Ride real good to the play field. If you go to um, pull the wax off and it like smears around instead of comes right up and off, then you know you didn't let it dry enough. That's what that is. So you can either re reapply it in that area or just leave it for another five, 10 minutes and then come back and it should um, come right off. do this part quick here because I'm going to come back to it. Oh, we are just sticking right to that. I don't want to stick to it. Be careful while you're doing this too. Like I said, you got all these switches around here. All these leaves that are popping up. You can easily snag it with your towel bend them off or snap them off. Same thing with the um, stand-up targets, you can do all that too. Bend them off, snap them off. You don't want to do any of that. So I'm just going around real carefully. Since I'm over here, I'm going extra much because I just 
I'm gonna make sure I get all the wax off. Like I said, you can just stand over it and then look at it. And you can see if you got your wax off or not. And then you can go over it again with a flashlight to see what you did to them. Um, I know people that don't use wax. Pinball shenanigans. At least he didn't until this video, and I don't know when you're gonna see this video. Um, the date is Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022 for a timestamp. I don't know when this is actually gonna hit YouTube because I am still plenty of videos behind. If you're seeing this, that means I hope you enjoyed um, um, Chicago Coin Casino. I hope you enjoyed that video. I also hope you enjoyed um, Williams Lucky 7. I hope you enjoyed that series too. And I hope you enjoyed Sorcerer. That was a great video. And I don't think there was any other ones in that time frame. I don't think there was. If there was, oops, I forgot them. I hope you enjoyed everything else I put on too. All the other stuff in between. So now another reason why I'm waxing this before you got these pop bumpers up. It's easy to wax around them. These are very easy to do. I have these rollover switches out. So now when I flip the play field over, I can put those rollover switches back in. They will not be filled with wax. Man, that's shiny. And they'll look just as good as new. I'm gonna go over these real lightly. on them. My paint job looks good on them too. I don't know what I was talking about. But anyways, yeah, I hope you um, enjoy my videos that I make for you. But yeah, um, if you get these out now, because if you leave them in the play field, which I don't like to do that anymore, they just get all waxed up. So what I've been doing, I've been taking these, any of these rollovers out, and I've been throwing them in my um, ultrasonic cleaner. And that just cleans all the poo right out of them. They do get loaded with poo all over, over the years, real bad. To the point where they stick. They end up sticking really nasty. They just don't work right. So I decided that um, from now on, I'm gonna remove them all, ultrasonically in them, put them back, and then they just, they're just flawless after that. I don't leave them in anymore, unless I have to, and then I'll clean around them really good. But so far, I haven't ran into it where I had to leave them in. Did I leave them in because I was lazy? Maybe, but no. I've been taking them all out recently. It just makes it easier to clean the play field because you, if you novice to it, you know, polish it and then wax it, you're just gonna gum them all up. So I just figured, you know what, Mark? Take them out, be done with them, have them out. They're gone, they're out of the way. They're clean now. They look really nice because they're totally clean. They're not clean, just you know, like clean, but they're all the dirt and crud is out of them. And they work great. They don't stick. A lot of times they'll stick because they just got all that poo in it from the years. That's my new word, too poo. All that pinball poo. Over the years, you just get full of pinball poo. Now I'm probably going to still have a little bit of wax on this thing. 
I'll go over it in the little spots. I know I didn't get behind here yet. But like I said, watch out for these leaves. They will cut you and they will cut you good. And I'm not joking on that one. Alright, I think I got all the wax off. I think. Now to find out if we got it off. Oh, now we even got more of a shadow, more of a light. That's clean. It's scuffed right here, but that doesn't matter. I get this ball track. Good. That does look so much better now with uh, the actual real wax on it. If you use mill wax on it, this, this all black, all the, the exposed wood will turn white. I don't even know why that's got wax in the title. Uh-oh, you know what that means? Battery's dead. back to the oldies the goodies but yeah those umbron lights when they do that they just flicker and die like that I learned uh, batteries are dead if I had one when I first got it it did that and I'm like the hell what's wrong with this I was gonna take it back and I'm like ah uh, did I charge it or did I not charge it and I couldn't remember so I charged it and it took took a long time you know to get a charge on it and then it worked flawlessly, and then all of a sudden it just died like that again. I'm like, oh, okay, so when it dies, I, you know, I figured it might dim. No, it just turns off. So when a battery gets to a low point like that, uh, it just turns off. So I'm like, okay, I can handle that. These ones get a little intermittent and goofy when they do that. But I like that other light so much better. The brawn. Big one I just had. These are good too, but these are my backups. <coughs> like that is beautiful now. I believe I got all the wax off. Yes, I don't see any more traces. No if ands or buts with the wax. But well, man, this turned out beautiful. For the shine, it's this is great and how smooth it is this this is awesome then my new polishing method i hope you've seen my new polishing method i have to go back through the thing and make sure i finished it correctly if not nobody's going to see it yep that's done that's all waxed so anyways um oh, i hate these flashlights Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and our next video will probably be Pop Bumper Rebuilding, that, we gotta take this and get some glue for it, and I think that'd be about it, yeah I believe so, Pop Bumper Rebuilding, and Yeah, and then assembly. We got everything else done. We just got to do a final assembly on it. I'm just getting all the goo that on it. But yeah, I guess that's about it. So I'm gonna get my glue. Take that, put a little bit on this post. Stuff it in there. And it will be um, back to normal, stuck in. Q-tip and wipe the excess off around the edge. We'll do that. Are you still here? You're still here, aren't you? Just like hanging around. Get that like that. And then we'll come back like this. And get that. 
and just get it right there. Garbage. And I had cubed it there. Anyways, thumbs up. Cool stuff right here along the bottom. And take care. And ooh, look at that. One more look for you guys. Not often you get to see it done. Yeah. Yeah, you can see a little bit of my. You had a light right here. Not where my finger is. Look here. Yeah. It's got a shine to it. It's got a real nice shine. But, anyways, um. Take care and collect your 1000 advance bonus.